Hello and welcome back to another episode of Making Pictures with Jerry Farso. My son is going to help me edit this one due to complaints that my last video was a bit too long. So if you see some great edits, please put it in the comments below and thank him. For the great work he does, he's a beautiful young boy. Anyways, let's start off with the face. So we're just going to draw a couple lines here. This will be its mouth. Draw a little nose there. And they've got a big old honking mouth, kind of like an alligator. So, do that. And then you want to draw some teeth in there. They've got a billion sharp little toothers that'll bite your little nuggets off. You gotta be careful. Then you're gonna want to draw the tongue. The tongue is long and squiggly, like so. And it's it comes to a fork because they had fork teeth. Now you're gonna wanna draw the eyeballs. So, we'll just draw two little loops here. They've got big old goofers on their face. They're not very beautiful creatures. They've got slits for eyes, just like an alligator. Now, you don't want to go messing around with alligators because they're very gigantic creatures who will bite your face off and eat your dogs and small children. Next, we're going to draw its body. We'll start with its front side body so we're gonna loop down here and we'll we'll pump it out like this they have very bulbous bodies they're not very sturdy creatures that's why they have wings now dragons have four legs so unlike wyverns wyverns only have two and their wings are their arms very common misconception so we have to draw four limbs. So we'll start with the legs down here. Give it a little leg. And then a little hoof there. A little, a little foot. There we go. It's got little claws too. And now we're going to draw his top right arm. Because that's the side we are looking at. We're going to start by drawing his, his top arm. So we'll start like this this will draw his his first bicep and then his forearms are actually incredibly long very long forearms comes to a point and a thumb they actually have very human like hands as you can tell by the drawing it's got a little musculature to it as well so look at that he's a muscular dry little there we go now we're going to want to take our eraser tool and erase the inside of his belly because his arm is already outside, so there's no need to... He would he'd be covering... He, his belly wouldn't go through his arm, basically, is what I'm trying to get to. Now, what we're going to want to do is draw his backside, and we're going to start from the top of his eyeballs and just go all the way down and to his tail. Look at that beautiful creature. And his belly is going to come down into his, the other side of his tail to a nice little point. There we go. So now we can actually draw his hands on the other side uh, real quick. So we're only going to, over here, it's really just going to be just a, just a little foot right there. And then... Maybe he's going to be reaching down on with his other hand on the other side. So we're going to reach out over here and put his little, his little nuggets on there too. There we go. That's looking beautiful already. It looks like he's about to catch a football. <laughs> Maybe he's a, a, uh, a happy little dragon. He's playing some football. He's going to make the big bucks one day. Just like my son, he loves football. And he's going to go pro when he leaves college. 
Now what we're going to want to do is add the wings, the most majestic part of a dragon. So they're going to come out of his back in a swooping motion and out of his back downwards also in a swooping motion. Uh, they also come like little, little bat wings. And then it's going to come as a circle down. Don't want to hit the tail because I didn't want to cover the tail up. You don't want to cover the tail up either. And the other wing, which is going to come out relatively the same angle as this one, like that. So now you have two wings. Um, we can also add a little bit of detail here. We don't want to add too much. We want to save that for the shading. So we add a little bit of wing texture here. Maybe some coming out of his back because it's a little tighter by his shoulders. Um, so now what I'm going to do is add the shading to this dragon. And I'll speed through this one. I'll actually show you my process this time. A lot of complaints in the last video is that I just cut to the end of the shading. And I understand that. You want to see how I shade uh, to get my beautiful pictures. That's... That's something I, I, you know, it's a growing process here uh, with Jerry Farso making pictures. So I will speed it up this time and you'll be able to see um, exactly how I get to the end results of my pictures. So stick around. I'll see you at the end of the video. And there you have it, the great Northern Celtic Ireland Drake. Um, it's a very beautiful creature, but also very mythical. Um, I'd like to thank my son for editing this video, Tommy. Great kid. And I'd like to thank all of you for sticking around. Um, please like, favorite, subscribe. It helps me and my family out tremendously. Um, you know, as I always say, if the kettle's hot, the water's boiling, so that's pretty good. I'll see you next time.